Cycle 1, Week 2, Wendler, 531, the Wendler Classic. Strict press. Set number 1, this is 113.5 on the bar for 5 reps. Set 2, this is 135.5, 5 reps. Now we're up to 157.5 for five reps. So here's 168.5 on the bar, five reps, five sets. The last set, I got four reps. I would set a timer for two minutes and 45 seconds for in between sets, and I would set up at two minutes 45. And by the time I actually started lifting, it was about three minutes. So you're looking at about three minutes rest in between sets. These went okay overall. Yeah, when I uh, originally restarted the program not that long ago here, a couple weeks. Uh, well, actually, this is the first week back. But I had to test on my numbers and all that. So I found top triples and I got uh, training maxes based off of those estimated one rep maxes from those three rep maxes. And I originally set them at like 90% of my one rep max. But the, for the Wendler Classic, you're supposed to run it at about 80% of your actual one rep max. So I didn't do that and I kept that 90%. And that's why it was kind of so difficult right now and for the bench press yesterday. So I already adjusted my training maxes to uh, that way it's at 80% or about 80%. Yeah, because with the Wendler programming, it's all about starting light, taking it slow, and just making slow, consistent progress. It is my first week back, so I'm just kind of getting into the swing of things again. The one thing, the one major thing you don't want to do when you are just starting a workout again, though, is you do not want to start too heavy, because then you'll just get overwhelmed. So now we're on to some chain bench press. This is 91.5 pounds, not counting the chains. I get three repetitions. The chains weigh 63 pounds for counting the connector chain and the big chains. Second and last set for chain press. This is 113.5 on the bar, not counting the chain weight for three repetitions. So this lift is just something they call dead press or pins press. So you're taking it off the safety arms at kind of like wherever, you can set it wherever you want, but this is my sticking point, like right at my forehead pretty much. So I'm not used to it, so I did pretty bad at it. This is only 179.5. I got three reps. I mean, it's my first week back and my arms were pretty dead at this point and that's why I could not do it any more any more weight any more reps any more anything i mean you got to pick assistance work that works for you and helps the main lift that's the whole point of assistance work so now we're on to tricep extensions this is 87 pounds i kept it the same weight for all the sets and this first set i got 14 reps yeah, i haven't done these for like four months i mean i haven't consistently worked out at all for like four months so as soon as I started doing these, I knew exactly what the problem was was with like uh, all my lifts. <laughs> it's like my triceps are just not nearly as strong as what they used to be. I used to do uh, this weight for sets of 20 with two minutes rest for five sets. So 100 reps and five sets. Then some days I would go actually heavy on these i do sets of 10 kind of like what i'm doing right here <laughs> my triceps are just so out of whack that this was a set of 10 and hard but what i was getting at was that the best set of 10 i did before was uh somewhere around 130 <laughs> so it just shows like how kind of weak my triceps got but yeah i think if i can get my tricep power back up there my lifts will go right back up i was uh pausing 374 on bench press when I was hammering the tricep work. Yeah, so enough excuses. I just let myself get weak and that's just what ended up happening. So 
Um, I didn't work out consistently for like four months since uh, May, and that's September now. Yeah, things came up, and I wasn't working out consistently. I graduated welding school, then I moved cities. So here's some weighted pull-ups. This is uh, only 25 pounds added, five reps. I stopped at five. Then I hopped down, and I have a slam ball from Titan Fitness. So I would take the slam ball, and I have that little bar going across the front of the rack where I was strict pressing out of, and I would just toss it over that bar, and I would I sh was my goal was 20 reps, and I hit that every time. Uh, this is sped up one and a half times speed. So here's body weight for eight reps. I uh, I took away the dip belt and the weighted pull ups because after that first set, I was I kind of felt a little bit of pain in my right shoulder, so I wanted to take it easy from here on out. I didn't want to end up getting a small tweak or anything like that. But yeah, this uh, <laughs> ball over the bar. I don't know what you want to call it, but that's just what I was calling it. And uh, it's okay. The ball uh, the ball weighs thirty pounds, so it's not incredibly heavy. The bar is set a little over my head, so I gotta like clean and press or clean and toss or whatever you want to call it uh, for 20 reps. So I was definitely, I didn't feel like I was breathing heavy, but by the end of the set, I was like very tired. So yeah, here's just the same exact thing one more time. Body weight for eight and 20 of the 30 pound ball over bar exercise. It was a pretty good workout overall. I had to lower my training max, but that's my own issue. And that I just wasn't uh, planning uh, for this template. So that's my own doing and I fixed it. So um, it was a pretty good workout.